One down. Bomber number one. Bomber number one. Leg <laughs> break, baby. Occult, occult, occult. Three of them died to occult overlord. Ooh. We're getting started. We're, we're, we're getting spicy right up in the beginning here, boys. We're starting off right. Starting off right. First thing I did. Good guy. Ah, I wasn't even warmed up. I just... Oh. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Necromancer one bar bombing build that I think you're going to have a lot of fun with for the Mid-Year Mayhem, a.k.a. White Strikes Mayhem Festival, the PvP event. I've been having a lot of fun with this, and uh, hopefully you will too. Just get into the abilities. I'm running Intensive Mender here. This is going to take much quicker than the other morph of the ability. And uh, being that we need some strong hots since we've only got one bar, this is where I decided to go with, uh, with this one. We've got Resistant Flesh. This is going to be the main burst heal. Avid Boneyard. This is what makes Necro Bombing Necro Bombing. Uh, we are running the stamina morph of blast bones, blighted blast bones, and uh, there are the main reason for this is that it applies defile, and we're going to be running some spicy CP that is going to definitely benefit from that. And we've got storm pulsar, which is a, a, going to be our AOE execute sort of thing. That's also going to provide minor mangle as another status effect, and uh, again, going to help us with our execute. Pestilent Colossus, hits hard, major vulnerability, beautiful. And then quickly to the gear, good old Vicious Death, we're running five Vicious Death on the body. We've got Dark Convergence, and one Baylorg. Again, if you really want to go for like just mid-max glass cannon, then you feel free to go Divines on these pieces if you would like. We're going full Harmony on the jewelry. Again, when it comes to the Glyphs, you could definitely go full spell damage. It's not entirely necessary, as your survivability is going to be not the greatest. But, uh, you know, when when things go off and the fireworks happen, it's, it's a beautiful thing. And we've got good old Oaken Soul. Use it while it's good. Because it's fun. <laughs> and the, uh, the lightning staff on the front bar with a shock glyph on. This is just great in general, as it's going to increase our AoE damage. Uh, it also gives us a, a really good way to build ultimate and just generally be a pest because heavy attacks cannot be dodged from this at all. Food, I'm running Bewitched Sugar Skulls. This is just going to buff our max stats. I'm not currently a vampire, but you certainly could be if you're looking to use Undeath. Um, other options would probably be if you're looking for more sustain, I would suggest using something like Jewels of Misrule, which will give you some max health as well as some mag and, and stam recovery. You can go as far as using Orzorga's Bear Haunch, which is very expensive, but it's basically a very expensive version of Jewels of Misrule, um, which again would give you some max health as well as some resource management. I generally run Stealth Detection, Immovable Detection Potions, standard kind of immovable potions that give me some health and magic, as well as Tristat, uh, ones that restore health, mag, and stamina, as well as give me recovery. The green doesn't really matter. It's personal preference. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with that. Uh, Occult Overlord. This is incredibly powerful, and it's going to be what turns just about any class into a bomber. Anytime you kill somebody with it, or anything that has a status effect on it, they will explode for 12.8k oblivion damage, which is unmitigatable. There is no way that you can build resistance to this. 12.8k damage is what they will take, and if you kill multiple people that have a, a status effect on them, everybody around them is going to take 12.8k times however many people there were. Binding Aura, this is going to increase our damage with AoE attacks, which is pretty much all of our attacks. Blast Bones deals AoE damage, Boneyard AoE damage, our ultimate is AoE damage, the Lightning Staff is AoE damage. Duelist Rebuff, a little bit of defense, it's going to reduce the damage we take from single target attacks, as people will try and focus you once they realize what you're doing on a regular basis, which is blowing up all of their friends. And we've got Ironclad, reduces the direct, the direct damage taken. Again, you can try and go full glass cannon and swap some of this stuff out for maybe, not really Thaumaturge, but I would go with direct damage, and uh, quite possibly something like, like Fighting Finesse or something like that as well. 
Ah, yes, I did skip the, the Mundestone. The Mundestone that I'm currently running is the Apprentice for more spell damage. So in general, what you want to do with it when it comes to your combo is you want to make sure you get a Blast Bones on your target. There isn't really anybody for me to throw one at right now, but you want to open with your Blast Bones. And then what you want to do is you want to throw the Boneyard on top of the Blast Bones. <clears throat> so that you pull everybody to it. You want your AoE to go on top of the Blast Bones. But if you had your ultimate, you want to drop your ultimate and then the Boneyard. And then you want to synergize the Boneyard. And then you can get some Storm Pulsars off to finish off anybody that's left in there. The defense is not exactly the strongest on this build, but the offense is incredible. So yeah, hopefully this works out for you. This is a real quick one, and uh, enjoy your mayhem. Until next time, check out the Twitch stream. There'll be a link down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Share it with your friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Good God. God, no, no. Not like this. Got him! Yes! <laughs> Dude, to turn that around on those guys, that was pretty cool. Oh.